Hey folks, Dr. Rob Jones here, HeyDrRob.com and at HeyDrRob, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you've been following my previous videos, of course, we've been talking about my favorite word in the English language, lordosis. Again, lower back curve. We talked about the need to keep it in this position so you don't get pain, so you don't break down the discs. Quick review, quick synopsis. If that curve leaves lordosis and you flatten it out, like your teenage son or daughter sitting on their phone and they're slumped like this, or that patient who comes into me and they're slumped like this and they say, man, it hurts, Dr. Rob, my back hurts when I sit, I just don't get it. Well, the reason it hurts is because your spine is out of lordosis, folks. Keep it in lordosis. If it's in lordosis, the discs stay exactly where they need to be, right in the center of the vertebral column. They will not bulge backwards and push against the disc. If they do, it will look something like this. Again, here's a one segment model. Here is neutral. Here is the disc. Here is a little crack in the disc there from flexing forward over and over and over again like a sit-up, like a crunch, like sitting with terrible posture. Over time, that annulus fibrosis will break down. Ba-bam, there's your disc bulge. You put some load on your spine like weighted sit-ups or bending over to touch your toes and you're a little bit overweight. Bam, bigger disc bulge right there. Everybody see that pushing against the nerve? It's gonna cause sciatic pain. You're gonna need a lot of therapy. Hopefully not surgery, sometimes epidurals. But anyways, we're gonna prevent that with proper movement. This is gonna be one of my movement segments. What we're gonna talk about is the simple act of sitting. We all do it way too much, okay? The computer lifestyle, that's just how we have to do it if we're gonna function. So when we sit, we want to keep, again, lordosis, that nice curve. Now, you can see here, I'm curved right here, so I'm sitting up straight, I'm good. A lot of my patients, like I said previously, when they sit, they get pain because they often have weakened spinal erector muscles, which are the paraspinal muscles on the side. They're not conditioned, so those muscles are weak and it, has a, it really has a hard time holding them up. So they get here and they go, oh, my back hurts. And when they go to stand, they go, oh, 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 it's so painful, so painful. Okay, so let's not be like that. Let's hit this thing off early so it doesn't get bad. And if you have pain, again, follow me on some other videos. I'm gonna help you get rid of this, but this segment is important for everybody, disc pain sufferer or not. When you sit, try to keep your chest up. You don't have to be hyperextended. You don't need to be perfectly military. Yes, sir, I'm sitting up straight. You just need to have that nice, good lordosis. Now, here's a disclaimer. Even as a chiropractor, I get tired. It's hard to sit like this all the time. So if you catch yourself slumping back, make a correction. It's really easy. Just do this. Super simple. If you have to sit for a long period of time, like in a chair, or if you're a driver, truck driver, you drive delivery, something like that, and you sit a ton, then something very simple, like taking a towel, roll it up, ish diameter, and you can judge on how it feels. Uh, usually I'll advise people to kind of tape the ends. And basically what you want to do is you want to put that towel right at the very bottom of your spine. Most people will make a mistake and put the towel up too high and they'll say, yeah, I tried the towel and it just hurts too much still. You want to put the towel right at the bottom so when you lean back into your chair, it's forcing you into that lordosis. Now that lordosis is going to be greatest achieved with your lumbar support, whether you use a towel or a foam roll or whatever you found online. You want to put that right at these bones here, these are called the PSIS, they stand, they stand for posterior superior iliac spine. Don't worry about the anatomy. Again, you wanna set it right there because if you set it up here, you're missing those bottom two vertebrae and those are the most two common levels, L4-5 and L5-S wanna get disc bulges. So we wanna be right here on the PSIS and the sacrum, which is right here. We wanna prop that spine up, get yourself into that nice lordosis then you can lean back in your chair or you can just sit up straight like this, whatever feels best. When you're not in pain, you know you're in neutral if you have pain. If you don't have pain, a good way to know, a good indicator is if you're getting ready to maybe start having a chronic problem, 
is when you actually sit and you lose your lordosis and you round back this way, you will actually feel a stretch in your lower back along the midline, which is along these spinous processes here. Now you don't ever want to feel that stretch in your lower back simply because it's not a muscular stretch. That stretch is two things. Number one, as you sit back and you lose that lordosis back this way, your spine will do this. Those vertebral bodies will pinch in the front and your spinous processes will fan open like this. Now there's ligaments between them called the interspinous ligaments. Those interspinous ligaments help your muscles back here keep your spine in lordosis. Those ligaments will tell you via a little stretch sensation when they're starting to stretch. If you feel that, even if it feels good and you're like, oh yeah, I wanna stretch my back, please don't do that. Use that as an indication to get yourself nice and high like this, not hyperextended, but just in that good lordosis. Keep that curve right there. Put that towel right in that position. Those discs, discs won't bulge. You'll feel a ton better. And guess what? If you're not having pain, you're gonna prevent it from happening. So until my next video, don't forget to protect your back and give me a like if you like this. If you don't like it, send me a comment why. If you've got a situation where you can't fix your back, send me a comment. Maybe I can help you with it. Until next time, protect your back. I'm Dr. Rob, heydrrob.com, at Dr. Hey Dr. Rob on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. See you all soon.